What's going on, everybody? This is Nigga07 with another video on a application that I that I got uh, to help you move files from your iPod or your iPhone uh, without messing with any terminal code or without uh, getting everything mixed up and you know kind of trying and ruining your iPod or your your iPhone or your iPod Touch. So uh, let's get to it. So the program that I have is called uh, Podtomac. Uh, I'll show you the website towards the end of the video, and I also have a link in the description if you guys just want to pause the video and not listen to me and just go to the link and figure it out for yourself. It's pretty simple, but uh, it's pretty simple. So I have my iPod connected, uh, but I'll, uh, so let's open it up. So when Pod to Mac is opening up, it's going to automatically open up your iTunes. Um, and there, now the only one thing is, is if you're a person like me who never uses their disc uh, enabled on their iPod. Um, then what's gonna happen is once they both open up, besides your iPod be syncing to iTunes, it's gonna enable disk use. So just keep that in mind. So at the end, when you're gonna disconnect it or whatever you're gonna do, that uh, you're gonna have to disconnect it manually and probably change some settings back. That's the only thing Pod to Mac does though. It just enables disk use if you don't already have it enabled, because I usually don't, so that's why. All right, so here it is. It's a pretty simple interface. Um, and basically what Pod to Mac is, it's, so you have your friend's iPod and, you know, you're, you're on your Mac uh, and there's a terminal code that you can use to go into your iPod if you're having a disk use and you can see the hidden files and you can take out the music and blah, 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 and, uh, and you can use it that way, but it takes a while to do it. So this kind of by bypasses all that and all you have to do is download that, the application and once you run it, after you have your iPod connected, I, I connected beforehand, then quit iTunes, and then open it again, and quit and open Potomac. That's right here. So it's a pretty simple interface. Right here, it's what uh, is in your iPod on the side right here. It says my iPod right here, and that is a bunch of other stuff we have. And then right here is the main screen, uh, the main screen under my iPod. So it shows all the music I have. The check marks status means it's in your, it's in, already in your iTunes library. Um, if you go down, uh, you can keep going and you'll see stuff that's not in your iTunes library uh, with a gold star by it. And I have one right here. It's at the end of this. Oh, where is that? Oh, hold on, man. Maybe I actually did. Oh, hold on. I could have probably downloaded it and not paid attention. So, well, anyways. So, um, it has a check mark on it if it's already in your iTunes library. However, I found it's not that accurate because towards the end, like right here, all these that have a star on it saying, oh, they're not in your iTunes library and they need to be added. And I went through all my iTunes library and they're there and they're on my iPod. So it's accurate to a certain extent, but I wouldn't say it's like 100% accurate. Uh, but you can judge. I mean, if you know you've never hooked up something before or you know what songs you're looking after, then you can come and just get whatever song you're looking for. Now, this, this not only does... Um, Music, uh, it will transfer over audiobooks, uh, podcasts, everything as long as you find it, even video. Um, you can see the video right here on the bottom. Here's a video type, the protected MPEG video file right here. It's an Invader Zim uh, TV show I have on here. So you can transfer everything. Uh, so it's pretty simple. I mean, you just pick something. Since I have most of this stuff on here, um, I mean, say, my recent, say you, your friend has purchased some stuff, and a lot of stuff we purchase now on iTunes is not protected anymore. So it's a good thing about it. So say you purchase a song that you want, and you're like, okay, well, I want, um, let me see, I want Love Story by Taylor Swift. I don't have it. He has it, and it's not, and you notice it's purchased, it's not purchased anymore. So you can do an automatic, you can do an automatic transfer, it transfers everything. You can pick the song and transfer it straight to iTunes, or just transfer it to your desktop. So say, you, well, I don't want it in iTunes yet. I want it on my desktop and on iTunes, so you can transfer it there. Uh, you can also sample music. So there's a song. The only, bad, the only annoying thing I found is that your play button here is not a pause button. So if you just keep playing the play button, it just keeps starting over and over again. So I think that's a little flaw that they have in here. Um, I've been messing around with all the uh, with the little file with the uh, menu bars and everything. There's nothing that really you need to work on. The preferences is pretty straightforward. Where to change uh, their target directory for your music, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and it's pretty much you can also and. The video, I tried to sample some of my video, I think because it's protected, it doesn't let me see it, but it was playing it, but I couldn't see it, if that makes any sense. 
Um, so yeah, so maybe if you guys probably have better luck with unprotected uh, video that you can probably transfer. Uh, okay, so let's look at the website really quick to see what else. Uh, the website is very straightforward. Um, and there's a go to Fire Browser. You can Google this. This is Pod to Mac, or you can go www.podtomac, all one word, dot com, and it takes you right here. So it has uh, the download for Pod to Mac, as you can see right here. It just has some, has some screenshots. Here's a video screenshot, so you can also transfer video. Um, and then it also has uh, there's just the homepage for Pod to Mac, and then you can go to downloads, and it has different things they have. They have a uh, Pod to PC for the people who have a PC and want to do this. The Pod to Mac, of course, which I have. And I have another one that I'll make, I'm going to make a video on a little later. I just don't have an iPhone with me. It's the iPhone Explorer. This one's for Windows and Mac. It's a very useful tool. Um, if you want to uh, if you want to get, rip things besides music off an iPhone. Because iPhone's a little different than iPod. So Pod to Mac only does music. But iPhone Explorer does exactly what the uh, name says. You can explore your iPhone and look through the pictures. You can look through notes. You can look through a bunch of other stuff. They already have uploaded, so I'll make a video on that. As you can see, I have it right here in my dock. I just don't have my iPhone with me before I can show you guys. So uh, this has been a quick video. Pod to Mac is a um, very useful application if you need to get music from, say, you don't have and you want to get it from somebody else, or if you move to a different computer and you want to move all your music library over there without doing a giant hassle with it. So this has been Nick 07 with another quick video. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below or just just say hey. Uh, also, please uh, subscribe to my channel. I have other videos. I just uploaded, I think, three videos probably like about a week ago. I did an iTunes review, and I when it just came out, and then two videos. It was, just, it was one really long video. Uh, it was a iTunes 9 under the hood. I go into more depth of how iTunes 9 works for you guys. So uh, please rate and please subscribe. If you Also, again, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment below, or you can uh, private message me, or you can leave a comment on my channel. So this has been Nikon07 with a video on the application Pod to Mac for your iPod, for your iPhone, or your iPod Touch. Alright, see you guys all later.